Just two weeks before the 2013 Veteran and Disability British Championships, BGTV went to visit two extraordinary gymnasts on their journey to the weekend of competition. I'm Patrick O'Farrell, Veteran Gymnast from 1066 Gymnastics in Bexhill. Everybody loves Patrick, he's a really friendly guy. I really enjoy coaching Patrick, he's really enthusiastic, he's really committed and he really brings something to our adults class. Uh, my daughter was doing gymnastics for about 18 months and the club she was at started an adult class and it looked like fun so I thought I'd have a go. Uh, being 44 years old and one of the oldest in the class, I do find it difficult sometimes keeping up with the younger ones. I think his gymnastics training to him is quite important as he doesn't miss a week unless he actually has to. I'm training some new skills for this year. I'm doing back away on the high bar as a dismount and I want to get a round off tuck back on the floor. I uh, don't feel very prepared at the moment when I look at the calendar and see there's only a few weeks to go. But I think when we get there, I'll, I'll be, be ready when we get there. I'm Lauren Lethbridge, I'm a distributionist from the Meepat Gym Club in Kent. I was born very premature, so I've had a chronic lung disease since birth. Disability gymnastics enabled me to, to keep doing what I wanted to do. Lauren's a very strong-willed, determined child, um, and she's just as strong-willed and determined as a gymnast. This year, I've spent about six months in hospital and I've had a few operations that have put me out of training. And so I've really not been in the gym for very long and I'm not very prepared at all. She wasn't allowed to start training because of the surgery until October. So for Lauren to have spent so long out of the gym, this is going to be hard. Sometimes she is very poorly and when she is poorly, it's hard but the gymnastics is something that she can focus on and it's always there. Gymnastics to Lauren is very important. It's always been a big part of her life and it gives her the ability to continue with a normal, stable part of her life without thinking about being ill all the time. For me, it's, it's given me something that's normal and something that's constant and, you know, it's everything. <laughs> Hours of hard work in the gym, the weekend of competition soon arrived. First up was the Veteran British Championships. Patrick looked confident in warm-up, demonstrating his impressive skills and abilities. With just one other competitor, Paul Gethin from Colchester in his category, Patrick had to keep on top of his game to be in with a chance of winning the title. First up was Floor, where Patrick showcased some brilliant moves and managed to impress the judges with a score of 11.5. Rings allowed Patrick to demonstrate his immense strength, but with a lower D score, he only managed to gain a score of 5.9. Patrick executed two clean bolts, gaining a score of 12. Over to P-Bars, Patrick fought hard, even with low difficulty, to score 8. On his final piece, the high bar, Patrick managed to hold his nerve to generate a score of 9.2. I was quite pleased with my competition. Um, I had a few falls and I stepped out of the floor, which was really annoying. Um, but uh, yeah, I was quite pleased otherwise. Didn't do any other glaring mistakes. In veteran gymnastics, only the highest four scores are counted. So, along with a 0.3 age bonus, Patrick managed a score of 41 to take the title. The, the atmosphere is great, very friendly to competitors, all the guys really helpful and they're very supportive as well. We really enjoy it because um, it's, it's a good friendly environment, it's good for those that want to take training through a little bit, something a little bit more serious, they can do that, but it's still quite relaxed and, and friendly so they still get to enjoy it as well. Veterans Gymnastics has impacted my life quite a lot. I really enjoy it, I've made some good friends here. It's a great hobby and people are really interested and surprised when you tell them what you do.
Following the veterans came the Disability British Championships. Lauren looked determined and ready for the competition at the start of the day. Warming up alongside the only other competitor in her category, Stacey Ridley from Apex Gymnastics. Lauren executed two outstanding vaults, landing a score of 11.5. Over to bars, Lauren seemed really confident, executing a perfect routine in warm-up. However, when it came to the actual routine, a fall on the bar halted the competition for Lauren. In evident pain, and after a lengthy pause, she soldiered on, completing the routine with a solid dismount. With support from her coaches and competitor, Stacey, Lauren was all smiles, despite the setback, still getting an impressive score of 9.65. Putting a bar slip up behind her, Lauren performed a stylish beam routine that the judges awarded a score of 11.05. Lauren's floor routine captivated the audience with stylish choreography and fast-paced tumbles, generating a score of 12.2. It's a lot more enjoyable than other competitions I've done. Everyone's just here to, to partake and to do what they can do and to enjoy it. It's not as much pressure as other ones. Everyone's just enjoying themselves. It was a fantastic day of competition for Lauren, managing to beat Stacey to take the title with an overall score of 44.4. Early on in the year, Lauren wasn't sure when she spent so long in hospital if she would be able to continue. So I think for Lauren, this is, this is a big achievement and I think she's in a lot of ways come back stronger than she was last year. Oh, I'm really proud of Lauren. Um, I think she always strives to do her best. She struggles when others would give up and I think that's a true testament to her personality. What I enjoy most about disability gymnastics is that you know it lets me keep doing what I love to do. It lets me compete still and that it shows people that that disabled people do more than you know, wave blue badges around and steal people's parking spaces that we can actually do things and <laughs> if you've been inspired by patrick and lauren and you want to find out more about getting involved in veteran or disability gymnastics in your local club head to www.british-gymnastics.org forward slash find a club to get started